Today I would like to cover how you can transform your skills, your learning, into what um, employer look for. What are the expectations? What are the business trends? How to convert, indulge your skills, your um, learning into the into the issues which normally organizations more specifically facing in this current era. Yes. First of all, I have to make sure that all this research, what I've done so far, what I will be presenting is purely my, con my responsibility, my information. This um, risk, uh, global risk report basically assess um, uh, in terms of um, likelihood, what is the uh, likelihood or how frequently these risks could occur in one year, two years, ten years. and what could be the impact, what could be the worst case scenario of, uh, of that risk could occur and what are the interconnection about these, these global risks. So no, this is the risk matrix, that's, that's the risk matrix we plot risks to assess um, likelihood and impact. Um, we call it some, that's low, medium, high low, medium, high. If you see, if you see the, the whole plotting, sub come on a, on a high, high zone. These, these sub attacks, attacks are really, uh, are real, are really real, and they could originate from different sources, mm. um, including uh, APT, Advanced Persistent Threats, or Targeted Threats, Malware, third party, poor software development, insiders, underfunded IT, and, um, and cyber criminals and uh, spies. Nations, these are basically, these are the cyber th threats, sources we normally end up. On top of that, new and emerging trends, cloud computing, mobile devices, and um, Social media has a great impact on um, on the way we do business, but uh, they also carry um, uh, uh, the significant significant risk. In organizations, normally we have to have three line of defense. First line of defense that everyone has to follow the rules, regulations. What are the standards? What are the processes and policies and procedures? Everyone has to follow code of conduct. We have to have a single point of accountability as a risk owner, and we have to provide the secure uh, processes and the productions. In second line of defense, how to test whether the first line is working properly or not. We assess by, by uh, industry benchmarking. Third line of defense, the audit, external and internal audit. ISACA has been in the industry from the last 40 years and it is one of the pace setting global organizations. So we have, we are human beings, we love to follow. If someone is going, we just, we love to follow. For example, the United States, who set the tone of the whole world. Like this, we have different organizations in their specific fields in industry. So, in, if you talk about information systems and, and control, we have ISACA. No one can deny it exists and is a strong influential. Across the globe, um, uh, auditors follow auditors and information security professionals. They have to follow, when they perform their uh, responsibilities, they have to follow some standards. And they have to follow the standards defined by ISACA. So it's been, it exists and we have, we have Got so, we got so much from ISACA, we can't deny. As I mentioned, membership and community, we just work just like a global community. And uh, we share. If I sit here, up, I'm in contact in September, we have uh, Eurocast, and across Europe, a lot of delegates come, and we have really good interaction. And now I'm in contact with uh, Nigeria, uh, Laos uh, chapter, I'm in contact with, um, yeah, with in Switzerland, chapter and by virtue of being an academic director I'm creating a, basic, uh, a quarterly session with um, um, academic relations director across uh, Europe 
So as, as a, it was not possible without having this instruction as a community. We have guidance and practices, as I mentioned, we, ISACA has come up with in, in, uh, different uh, guidelines which we have to follow, and professional development. How organizations, as we discussed, that we have so many issues, we have so many emerging trends, and we have solutions for, the, for those issues. How any organization come up with the, uh, that you have right solution for, um, uh, and you've got understanding, you with the right skill for those issues. How as an organization can get the evidence, you have right information, you have right knowledge, and you know the norms, you know the standard, which in my organization we are currently following. How could I, how could I get that evidence? How could you prove that you have all the knowledge, background, even theoretical knowledge, but you only you need a, a training and you would be hitting the road? How you could prove, how could you justify? By having these professional certification on your profile, it gives us enough knowledge confidence that yes, that candidate has enough knowledge to become a part of my team who are currently reviewing all these applications. And these are the certifications which ISACA came up. As earlier, it was only controllers uh, and information systems control association, audit, audit and control association. That's why you can see that so far, roughly more than 100,000 uh, certified in, 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 in uh, information system auditing. But by, with, after having different challenges, ISACA came up with different certification. That's why we expand our horizon by including security management, uh, governance of IT, uh, enterprise IT, and risk management. We are the only one, sorry, ISACA is the only one who provides certification risk management. I'll come on that, on C-Risk 1. First of all, CISA. We have auditors in financial space. What they do? They, account, they do assessment of um, um, auditing in accounting and financial space. So we have auditors, certified auditors, who work, who assess controls whether they are working effectively and there's no gaps. Information technology evolves constantly. So by because of its nature, all professionals who work in IT, they have to keep their self updated. How organization or employer can get confidence that his team member or his team is constantly updating his skill set? How do, for example, if I'm a hiring manager, or if I'm working and I'm leading a team, how could I get confidence that my team member has enough level of uh, uh, enough uh, skill set and up to date it. There's a program we call it CPEs. As a certified, as, as a certified information system in, uh, in these that spaces, I have to have minimum 40 four zero CPEs in one year. In three years, I have to have 40 CPEs. Sorry, 120 CPEs. Continuing professional education. If I attend a webinar, a symposium. Or any training, uh, so I, I, I get normally uh, a few CPEs, which shows that I am putting, I'm spending my time and putting efforts in keeping myself updated. So by after having your certification, you have to have minimum 40 CPEs per annum, which shows that you have to keep yourself updated. Do you think five years before we have any bring your own device issue? No one knew about this thing. No one even thought about big data five, ten years before. This means this industry changed frequently, update, evolve frequently. CISM. CISM mainly we normally look for from from the professional or individual who is, who would like to pursue CISM. In, uh, in managing and um, uh, developing and implementing an enterprise-wide uh, security program. As I mentioned earlier, that for cyber security risk, 
what uh, what are the incident uh, information security incident management? What's the process for for handling any incident? What is the governance we normally look for? How we work with business to implement the security program? What are the risks and what are the compliance requirements we have to follow? How to embed into the overall program management? What are the normal activities performed by? I mentioned specifically. I did some research to make sure to give you a, a bit first hand information. What are the normal activities we normally expect from who has done a CISM certification around cyber security, risk management, how to align, how to assess risk? Because every review, every work should be risk assessed. So risk assessment is one of the most important part. Security program management, if there is an existing security program management, how to play your role to get right in the standing? How could be your, you could play your, your effective role? Data security, are you working with data custodian, data owners? What are the policies do we have? How to create policy, for example, uh, uh, example use of um, uh, information classification policy. What are the regulations we need to follow, we need to abide? For example, EU data protection. Uh, protection legislation in UK. We have a uh, cookies um, uh, constant. Are we working with project team to embed security? Are we is taking the right step for incident management? Do we have right controls for network security? Do, for BCP DRP, do we have existing process? And working with uh, architectures to embed security. These are normal activities we normally expect from um, from these um, uh, from CISM, someone who holds CISM. This certification, this uh, CGET certification in governance of enterprise IT, as I mentioned earlier, IT now works with business. We have a strong relationship between business and IT. I'll come on a COVID, one of the business framework for IT. What are the goals? How we relate? business goal with IT goal, what are the matrix we normally follow, how we fulfill all the stakeholder commitments, expectations, how to follow a holistic, how to have a holistic approach to a, uh, from end to end process, all the business processes. In every business process we have support from IT, right? We use email services, we Outlook, every organization has Outlook, so there's a support of IT. Can't do without this communication, can we? So, what are the solutions? What are the controls we should have for having these processes? We have to see. We have to have a holistic approach, end to end. So these normally we normally uh, get an uh, um, understanding in this CGET space. C risk. Not really demand nowadays, and hopefully it is a demand. There will be demand for for rest from five to ten years more with this one. As such, I couldn't find come up with any other certifications who can give enough confidence that yes, he and she has enough information knowledge around risk environment. First of all, how to identify, assess, and evaluate. Because I I passed my in, in June, that's why it's really fresh in my mind. So how to identify, assess and evaluate risk, what could be the right response, and how to monitor one part. Second, what could be the right controls, how to monitor those controls. <coughs> and really good thing which I like this in the manual. In, in I, I've seen ISO 27001 uh, controls. So it, they divided in roughly 10 to 12 in domains. So for all those domains, what are the risks, what are the controls, what could be the KPIs, what are the K KRIs, key risk indicators. You get each and every information you will find in C-Risk. This certification is not only for IT professionals, it's for business analysts as well. In every field in, in, in the business. CKIT mostly talk about um, this um, uh, enterprise IT. And C risks talk about mainly about the risk management. C risks talk about how to define, how to assess, how to Im uh, uh, implement this risk management. And CISA, Certified Information Systems Auditor Certification, talk about how to assess those one, 
how to review those well. So that's why I mentioned earlier to the ethical hacker we expect to have both and knowledge. So here, this certification gave us both sided information. And how to prepare? If someone, for example, if someone would like to pursue the, the certification, how to prepare? Sounds good. In theory, it feels good. Yes, the certification is really good. How to prepare? How to take the first initiative? Yes, that's the right one for my discipline related discipline. Meeting with people who are working in the industry, attending webinars, because the, the concept, the underlying issue, the concept is read, read, read. Knowledge is the power. You can get knowledge. How you normally get knowledge? Information. From different sources, from your teachers, from your from internet, from your books. For these certifications, I would highly recommend, uh, yes, I only I can recommend, so to, to be a member of any organization who can give you first-hand information, who, who are active in doing research. It's easy to get information from different perspectives. What exactly uh, industry is working to work and how they are working? So, let's talk about what ISACA is doing in research. ISACA, why I mentioned earlier, well, I'll talk uh, CISSP or IC Square, mostly focus on in, uh, in security space. When we talk about um, uh, ISACA. ISACA works in IT as well as in business. When you will be part of industry, you will understand and realize at that time that we are nothing without business. If business doesn't achieve their targets, it, it, it's hard to survive. So what ISACA did, they are working closely with business and IT to come up with a framework which could give us end-to-end -end alignment from one end to another end, end-to-end -end business process whatever IT is supporting, and how it is supporting, and what are the business objective uh, business is achieving. Control objective for IT and related technologies, COVID. One of the, uh, one of the framework, uh, one of the top uh, uh, governance framework, which organizations are using, BP is using, or in gas industry is using, financial sector they are using COVID. These are the giants. If they are using, what do you think, what, why not other organizations are using? It gives us, end of the day, what IT does, it adds value. When you talk about value, what are the values, what are the real value IT is providing? It's the va value for IT, COVID, what are the control objectives, how to have a relationship with business processes and IT processes, how to merge, how to uh, make a matrix f to define a balanced scorecard from learning point of view, from financially, from, from, um, and, uh, from uh, 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 client point of view, how to manage risk from business point of view, and how security embed in the whole process. And the really good thing, which I really like, it is fully mapped with all the standards related to the standard. ISO standards 27,001, 20,000, 25,000, 38,500, 31,000. These are different standards which organization is supposed to use if they're working and providing services. The strategy right now which ISAC is working is S22. By, end, by 2022, they will integrate all the cert all certifications, sorry, not certifications, um, uh, all these documents which I showed earlier for cloud computing, for all the, for cyber security. They, are, they would like to provide, they, would like, they are aiming to provide services end to end, end to end business process. They would like to cover the whole and everything in, 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 uh, between them. ISACA has model curriculum for information systems auditing and security management. So they have defined that curriculum. If we map with existing uh, um, some programs and universities, they will get all the privileges which we normally provide to uh, a student who completed their uh, 
model curriculum. Mostly it is in the states, roughly 22, uh, yes, 22 universities who are specialized in using model curriculum so far. So I'm currently, as academic director, I'm working with your universities and I'm aligning and mapping uh, these curriculum. You as student, you, you know what are the power in research. So ISACA works really effectively in research space. By virtue of uh, having this role, I'm organizing different, um, I'm making a bridge between what academy is looking for, what industry is looking for, and what are the services uh, um, um, industry could offer to, uh, to education uh, to academics. And, um, so these are the opportunities which we are offering to students and from this year we are offering free membership for full-time students for ISACA London chapter. So you can get access to all the publications which are on quarterly, monthly and all these information from ISACA. Thank you very much for your well, time. Thank Thanks you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.